Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be doing another comparison video between two of my most detailed fully opening diecast models in my collection. Um, I'm going to be doing the video on my BBR Ferrari Enzo and my AutoArt Signature Koenigsegg Agera in silver. Now both AutoArt and BBR make fully open and die cast models. BBR make more high end resin models, um, but they have started to make some more fully open and die cast models in, in their um, production line, like their LaFerraris, their F12s, TDFs. You can buy them now with opening parts. Um, but this Ferrari Enzo is probably one of BBR's first ever fully opening die cast model that they've made and um, this, mo this model I believe is truly one of the most detailed um, fully opening models that you can buy right now in 118 scale um, but I would say more recognisable in the fully opening die cast model is auto art signature models now, I've done quite a few auto art signature models on the channel, um, but they are astonishing in making fully opening models in 118 scale. And um, these are highly detailed models, but I wanted to do a video or more of a comparison between the two models um, and see which one is better or which one you would rather have in your collection. So. Let's start off with um, having a look at the Ferrari Enzo and then I will come back on to the Koenigsegg. Now, when you buy the um, Ferrari Enzo from BBR, firstly this is a limited edition model. Um, the one in um, black is limited to around 1,500 pieces worldwide. Um, BBR made a few in different colours, they made some in red and yellow and carbon and um, some other variations as well but this one in black was the one I preferred um, with the um, red interior I thought it looked really good so when you buy these models from BBR firstly you get a little um, book on how to um, open the model and all the various um, different things you can do with these high-end um, die-cast models um, which is really handy because you you don't want to break stuff when you're opening up different compartments on the model you get the um, wheel remover tool um, you can take the wheels off if you um, wanted to with this and you have the engine bay um, holder as well um, with this as well which I'll show you um, in a minute but this one is again highly detailed model and I would say right up there with the um, auto art signature models in terms of um, detail now the auto art models again you don't get any um, tools with these models you do get the um, typical auto art key to um, open up different um, compartments with um, I don't believe these are limited edition models but um, I believe auto art have stopped making these Koenigsegg Agueras they're quite old signature series models um, but again they're quite rare now and um, prices of these have gone quite high I believe um, as well um, due to their rarity but again everything on this model opened and I'll be showing you that and comparing that with the um, Ferrari Enzo so let's have a look at the um, models in more detail so the front of the um, Ferrari Enzo by BBR I will be doing a full review on both of these models so um, stay tuned for that I'll be showing you a bit more detail on them but as a quick overall on which is better between BBR and AutoArt, I'll be showing you some of the um, detail. So again, overall, BBR have done a great job with the um, detail on the Enzo. Um, both of these um, 
air, um, air ducts here are finished in black metal mesh grills. The um, opening as well is all in black metal mesh grills as well. When you're buying these cars at these types of price range, the um, quality and the materials finished are very good. Um, I don't really have any faults at all with the um, Enzo by BBR. The badge is done very nicely. Um, this photo etched Ferrari badge with the um, Ferrari text at the top. The lights are done very good. You can see the indicators and the main beam lights here as well. Lots of detail on the front end and it's a, it's a great job by um, by BBR. And um, if you open up the um, front of the model, it's quite um, stiff so bear with me. You can see, um, zoom in here, you can see this is a place where you can store your luggage. Um, BBR provides, well it comes with the model, you get luggage at the front which you can lift up as well and you get spare luggage here as well which is really nice when you, when they come with the model. Again this is all carpented, um, lots of details here as well. Um, the um, struts for the um, front bonnet are done very nicely as well, highly detailed struts and the overall fit and finish and the qualities used. Um, materials used by BBR are outstanding um, and it's one of the best um, kind of um, die cast models I believe you can buy right now and um, if we have a look at the um, Koenigsegg model by AutoArt again highly detailed front end by AutoArt you can't fault AutoArt really with their um, detail the um, paintwork is absolutely amazing. You've got the um, front splitter and the lubras on the side all finished in this fantastic carbon fibre. Um, the um, air ducts here have got black metal meshing. The um, Koenigsegg badge is also finished in um, carbon fibre. And the badge at the front as well has got lots of detail on it. And you can see the Koenigsegg crest quite clearly as well. The, um, the lights as well, superbly done by AutoArt and finished in this kind of metallic silver is just outstanding quality by um, um, AutoArt Signature. Now the front of these AutoArt models do open up. So, so now with the um, front up, again there is um, not as much detail in the front compared to the um, Ferrari Enzo but this is a place where AutoArt have deliberately left room for the roof. You can take the roof off of this model and like all Kearney's eggs you can store it in the front and close the um, front bonnet down and um, have a place to store your roof. So that's a really good touch by um, AutoArt and um, you can also see the um, suspension in in the wheels you can see the um, different levers here as well lots of detail around the wheels and around the front bit as well and also the um, struts to open and close the um, front is very detailed and very realistic it's just um, superbly done by um, AutoArt and both of these models on the front so I can't really um, I'll probably put them out at a drawer in terms of detail at the front. Both of these models have amazing detail at the front and good quality of materials used. So um, let's take a look around the sides of the models and open up some of the um, interior compartments. So around the um, side of the model cars and the interior of them, um, we'll start off with the um, BBR models Enzo and you can see overall great side detail um, with this model um, the indicator stalks on the side the um, wheels are done in great detail you can even see the tread on the um, tyres used now there, there is no um, tyre writing on this model car um, which is a bit of detail that I like to see on um, my models um, but again, great.
great detail on the overall rims, calipers, discs and tyres on the model. You can see the Ferrari badge in the centre caps, these classic Ferrari wheels. You can even see the tyre valve um, dust caps on the rim. The calipers are finished in red with the Ferrari um, text on them in black. Great details on the disc and lots of details on the overall um, wheels as well. The um, Ferrari shields are done very nicely, um, really stands out and really is quite prominent on the side of the car. You've got the um, Pinaferina badge on the side as well and you've even got um, details on the door plaques as well which I've just noticed. I've had this model for a um, couple of years now and um, you always find kind of hidden gems inside it and the de the um, interior detail is just um, flawless um, the driver seat is um, finished in this Alcantara kind of red the foot wells are um, finished in this carbon fiber pattern the pedals are done nicely, you've got full carbon fibre driving zone, you've got the rev lights on the top of the steering wheel, you've got buttons on the steering wheel, the vents are done in carbon fibre, um, there's just so much detail in the interior, it looks like the real thing. You could do, if I took a close up picture of the interior, it will look exactly like the, um, the real car. So let's... Um, compare this over with the um, Koenigsegg Agera. Now again, AutoArt do great jobs with the sides of their um, model cars. The um, wheels are done quite nicely. I wouldn't say they're done as good as the BBR version. However, um, you can see great details on the calipers. They're finished in matte black with the Koenigsegg writing on them. Um, the wheels are done very nicely and you've got the Koenigsegg crest in the centre as well. So they are done superbly but I wouldn't put them up there with the um, BBR version. Um, I feel AutoArt have done a good job but again they've missed the um, tyre writing on this model. I know Koenigseggs typically run Michelin tyres so it would have been good to see a bit of um, detail on that as well. But overall great details on the um, whole wheel and um, tyre um, set up here by AutoArt. Now my one big criticism here on the front which doesn't hold up with the BBR is the panel gaps between the, um, the body and the door. Now these doors, the way that AutoArt have done them is that they come out and then they slide up. I think they're called um, dihedral hydraulic doors by Koenigsegg. It's a really clever design, so you avoid um, hitting it on high curves when you park up. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute. But these panel gaps here between the doors, um, again, not a huge problem with these cars. These are cars are quite old, but I feel um, it's just not on par with the um, BBR version. But I'll show you the um, how these doors open. So what you do is... You almost lift them up and out like that. Make sure that you've cleared the um, the uh, model car so that when you swing them up, you won't hit the car. Now they come up all the way, and you can have a, a um, look inside the um, interior. Um, but the way Auto I've done the hinges on these doors are very smart, and um, I'll show you all of that in my in-depth review. The side mirrors are done in the carbon fiber pattern as well to match the louvres on the side. But I think overall, great details by AutoArt and um, one of my favorite models by AutoArt. But again, look at the panel gaps here. Look how bad these panel gaps are. They are, um, again, for a model of, of this price, I don't think, um, that should really be as bad as it is but again I would say the BBR version is slightly better if you're looking for a die cast model you've got the um, silver grills in the vents here which look amazing 
full matte carbon fibre finish down the side. Looks superb. The Aguera badge on the side as well is amazing by AutoArt. And my only criticism here is the um, panel gap and the um, lack of writing on the tyres. Everything else is um, superbly done. So let's have a look at the engine detail on both of these model cars and um, compare which one is better. So the um, engine details on both of these models, the Enzo and the Koenigsegg, are simply outstanding before I even start. Um, but I would probably put the engine detail on the Enzo slightly better than the um, auto art version. Um, but I will show you why I think that. Firstly, before I even open up the um, engine bay, the um, engine is very detailed. Um, you can see the um, black kind of grills on the side of the engine here and here with the vents here on the side all finished in this um, mesh grills looks outstanding by BBR they've really done a superb job with the engine detail on this model so what you do is to open up the um, compartment you get your engine um, stand to open to hold up the um, whole engine bay so you lift up the um, engine bay which is actually quite heavy it's die cast metal um, really nicely done by BBR and then there's a little slot in between the um, suspension the side suspension where um, the um, engine stand sits in if I can just about find it there it is then you slot the square into the um, square on the engine bay and you let it stand just like that and I mean that looks like the real car the detail here is just absolutely um, a 10 out of 10 it's a flawless by um, BBR it really is if I can walk you through some of the details here firstly this is one of the prettiest engines ever the naturally aspirated V12 engines by Ferrari are just amazing you can see the working suspension on either side the um, engine details how deep it runs as well it's so highly detailed um, it's it's almost identical to the real thing you can see the fuel um, pump here as well the um, all of this is finished in carbon fiber the housing the piping the the hosing running through the engine is just um, exactly exactly like the real car it's um, a 10 out of 10 engine compartment and to be honest I don't think any auto art signature model maybe the Pagani Zonda even comes close to this kind of level of engine detail it's um, second to none by um, by BBR and I'll, I'll try and get a better um, angle for for you guys well I mean what do you guys think of the detail here it's just superb absolutely superb nothing missing that looks like the real car um, 10 out of 10 and this is why it's my my favorite car in my um, collection so for this this is pretty much exactly the same as putting it up the um, of the um, engine what you do is you hold the um, engine um, stand you take the weight of the top of the engine you lift up the um, engine stand and you slowly drop down the um, top of the engine stand like that and that's how you um, close it but it's just a superb engine compartment now let's have a look at the um, auto art version 
Firstly, again, great details on the whole engine bay section here. You've got these rear louvers, again, finished in this amazing gloss carbon fiber. You've got the um, kind of rear engine window with the um, ghost sticker. Um, I think that's um, in tribute to the um, Swedish Air Force where um, Koenigsegg makes their cars on these um, Swedish Air Force base hangars and the ghost was the, um, I think it was like an emblem or one of their um, planes, the Swedish planes, so they've kind of kept it. I think it looks really good, nice touch there. Again, this whole rear is done in um, carbon fiber in terms of the wing, the um, whole middle bit and the whole aggressive rear diffuser complete in carbon fiber. The lights are done very nicely as well. Now this is like lifting up a whole rear clamshell. So how you do it is you just slowly lift it up and not everything lifts up. And I try and do it quite slowly just to be careful. And everything lifts up and it should stay in position like that and again the level of detail here is really good by auto art and um, very highly detailed you can see the famous Koenigsegg triplets suspension they've um, got this fantastic carbon fiber bit on top of the engine um, I believe this is running a supercharged V8 engine you can see the triplex suspension which actually works by auto art um, lots of different areas of detail mounting pipes hosing the struts are done very nicely um, the exhaust is highly detailed and um, the tires as well look how wide the tires are in comparison to my finger it's just very realistic I mean, both of these models are the top, top end of die-cast models, but I feel um, probably the Enzo just eclipses Auto Art Signature in terms of overall level of detail and um, level of finish on their model cars. And to close it back down, you just gently lower the um, engine bay like that until it sits flush with the doors and the rest of the body and that is the engine compartment for both of these model cars um, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments about kind of like which was your favorite in terms of detail and quality um, I've kind of given you my opinion on most things um, I think the um, Enzo just eclipses the auto art signature in terms of um, overall finish and quality in terms of detail um, but I think if you bought any of these two model cars you wouldn't be disappointed they're superb in detail and that was my kind of quick review between these two high-end brands um, between BBR and Autoir I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments about which was your favourite um, and um, which one you would rather have in your collection. Um, uh, yeah, but in summary, I would put the Enzo by BBR ahead of the Auto Art Signature ever so slightly. Um, the things that just eclipse the Auto Art one is the engine bay, is um, the best I've ever seen for a 118 model car. It's amazing. The interior on this car is exactly like the real car. It's superb. You've got carpeted, you've got carpets in the um, front of the um, model car. It comes with the luggage set. It comes with the tools, the engine base stand, and um, it's a limited edition, one of 1,500 piece model. And it's just absolutely um, superb, 10 out of 10 model. Whereas the um, Koenigsegg by Auto Art here is a superb model, um, probably a 9 or 8 out of 10. 
highly detailed 118 scale fully opening model. The things that just lowered it off the um, BBR version is the um, panel gaps between the um, front uh, front bonnet and the um, doors are quite big. There's no tire writing and the interior is nowhere near as good as the BBR version. Um, the engine is fantastic on the auto art, but again, I think the BBR version just eclipses it. And um, it's, it's, it is close between the two brands, but I would just about give it to um, BBR. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments on which one you think um, is better. Um, I've given you my answer um and um yeah i'll see you guys on the next video take care